press secretary says he is set to sign a number of executive orders within the next few weeks. She did note that it could take a while because they have to go through an extensive review process. And Biden says he knows that this is an urgent matter, but he also said it is an ongoing matter. And right now that is not at the top of his list. But let's take a listen to what he had to say. I don't need to wait another minute, let alone an hour, to take common sense steps that will save the lives in the future and to urge my colleagues in the House and Senate to act. We can ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines in this country. So he does say that he wants to get moving on this legislation to make stricter background checks and to make getting ghost guns more difficult. Those are his main priorities when it comes to gun laws, but right now it is not at the top of his list. So Natalie, the National Rifle Association is always a huge part of these debates whenever they arise. What's their position on this issue? Where are they figuring into this debate? So they haven't made a formal statement yet about the past two shootings in Boulder or Atlanta, but, they, um, but an important thing to note is that days before the shooting in Boulder, they were celebrating a win in that city where they did overturn a law that would allow AR-15s and 10 plus rounds. Um, they also said that they are, they also tweeted when Biden was talking about his gun restriction plans that the NRA does not back down. So they are still taking a firm stance in their beliefs that the NRA should not back down. Natalie, at this point, we can pretty much guess what the GOP has to say about this, but what stance are they taking? Right, so they do say that constitutional carry is actually a good thing and it will make people safer if people are able to carry in a safe way. And actually, most recently, the governor of Tennessee is now thanking the NRA for helping overturn a law in which residents of the state would need a permit in order to carry a handgun. Natalie Fahmy, thank you very much.